Hey guys, today I'm showing you how to fix your ethernet cable. My dog bit through it and I'll show you how to fix that. So first you want to do a, a clean cut, you know, just make a good clean cut. And then what I'm doing, I'll score the wire just so ever ever so slightly just just tiny little score and I'll bend it make sure you have a relatively fresh blade in here and then I'll score it again just slightly I don't want to cut through the wires then I have to start over so really just a little bit get this over with so now I have it open here now I just flip it around and I see kind of the area where I scored so I'll do the same thing on this side not much it's not enough you can do it again Now you see it breaking apart. Yeah, you can see that. See, I just bend it left and right, and then I can, you know, start pulling it apart a little more. Bend, bend, bend. Get it out there. Yeah, see that? All right. So now I have all my colors. And if you look um, on wiring diagrams on the internet, you always see like it's a um, an orange, it is a gray, the, the brown actually, orange and brown is very similar. Um, and then you have a white, which has a color. Typically they have a color. Mine are all white. And remember this is a flat cable. So the flat cables are a little bit more difficult to, to repair than the, uh, the round ones. So I have a diagram for you. And here you can see what I'm gonna do. So I bought these connectors. Amazon I will post the link below this is pin 1 so this is also pin 1 and pin 1 is the first white that goes with the orange and on that side goes the brown you need to really look which wire goes from uh, which wires are going together so which white belongs to which one okay so here's pin number 1 number 8 and it's a tremendous help if you glue it to the table. Okay, number one is in, number two is in. Number three is coming from the green side. So it's this one here, almost straight through, almost. Okay, it's in there as well. Now Green doesn't come next, so I'll keep that apart. Then comes the white that goes with the blue, which is this guy. Oh, stop. The blue comes next. The blue comes next. Okay. Now comes the white that goes with the blue. 
this one. Now next comes the green. Okay, now I'll take it around, do a quick turn with my uh, tool. Okay, then comes the white that goes with the brown. And that goes my green again. Come on, now comes my white. And finally, my brown. Now I'm going to close this little bracket until it snaps in. And I'm going to cut the ends. All right. Good. I'm gonna do next is to move this into the connector. Okay, there's a little click, it's a little loose here though. And now oh, there it is. Click. Now you should crimp it. If you have a crimping tool, good for you. I don't. So what I'm gonna do. is I'm going to put a small screwdriver in here. So if you have a tool, you're in luck. I don't, so make sure it's in here, so it's not going backwards. First thing I'm going to do is I'll push this plate in here. This one right there. Okay. So wiggly a little bit, it's not that bad. So the next thing is each and every pin now needs a connection because that's the electrical connection to your to your um, to your wire. So you can push it in. You can see they're moving in. It's not bad actually. Move them and I just give it another little push to make sure you have solid connection. All right, little tug, it's nice and snug. Pretty good. So, I hope this video helped you. And um, this is how you fix a flat Ethernet patch cable. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Um, it would be great if you would subscribe to my channel. See you soon.